Look into the mirror. This pack opening stands but on the blade of a knife. All right, what do we have? Well, this was alone. It was all by itself. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to get that. And uh, I wouldn't recommend getting these unless you can get some kind of a deal on them. And uh, that's what I got here. So, holy moly. All right, hold on. All right, there. <laughs> Oh, 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 man. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there we go. This thing is like vacuum sealed. This is some, look at that. This is some kind of plastic here. All right, man. Oh, this must be a good one, right, Tony? All right, there we go. Oh, that's cool. All right. And we know what we have here. Oh, very nice. So stylish. Look at that. Isn't that nice? All right, we got Gandalf of the tiny hat there. All right. Get out of here. All right, a couple more of these and I'll have a pillow. Just hoping. I mean, <laughs> you know, you lose money on these, but if you make a pillow, you're really a winner at the end. All right, so let's see some bowmasters. We don't we don't see a list card, so that's certain. All right. Oh, a forest. Okay. Nothing wrong with a forest. I saw something. All of the full art cards look like full art bowmasters because they're all like on that uh, that battle on the fields of one of the Pelagrin Pel Felidorn something like that. Long list of the ants. That is a long list. Ole Font, Eleanor Gardner, three and a green. Eleanor Gardner enters the battlefield, create a food token. Mm, yum, oh, so good. At the beginning of your end step, if you sacrificed a food this turn, you may search your library for a basic land card, put that card into the battlefield, tap, then shuffle. Well, that's kind of interesting. That's funny. Eleanor Gardner, oh. Display of power. Nice. One and two red. This spell can't be copied. Copy any number of target instant and or sorcery spells. You may choose new targets for the copies. Very naughty. And what do we got? Oh, we got Mahur. Uruk High Captain. In our foil treatment. That is some cool artwork right there. I just have to say it. Look at that. We are the servants of Saruman the Wise, the white hand, the hand that gives us man's flesh to eat. Well, that's pretty disturbing, sir. And a food to... That's not food. That's Frodo. That's Frodo in a, in a natural sleeping bag. Look at that. Disgusting. Ooh, that's good. We like that. That Lana wear, very nice. Oh, we thought we had a list card, didn't we? All right, but we have an island. That's the worst thing you'll ever see. Total bad luck there. Stalwarts of who cares? Inherited envelope. Bombadil song. Okay. You, oh, you can't. You shall not pass. Interesting. All right, we see our full art there. Lost to Legend. I do like this card. Very interesting here. Instant. Put target non-land instant historic permanent. Or put non-land historic permanent from its owner's library forth from the top. I do like that card. Very good. Very good for Mono White to have a card like that. Voracious Fart Beast. <laughs> Ooh. And the Witch King. That's all right. Okay, okay. The Witch King of Angmar. Indeed we do. We've got a mythic. And what does the Witch King do for us for three and two black? Whenever one or more creatures deal combat damage to you, each opponent sacrifices a creature that dealt combat damage to you this turn. The ring tempts you and discard a card. Witch King of Angmar gains indestructible until end of turn. Ah, it's to declare. That is horrifying. That's an interesting artwork because you, the Witch King is not really uh, seen very much there. He's all back in the flames and stuff, looking like uh, the Nameless King. 
Bag End Porter. Look at him. He's a happy guy. Dwarves' tongues run on when speaking of their handiwork, they say. Indeed. Okay. Oh, a human soldier. Very interesting. Okay. One more. Can you save us from ourselves? Has anybody pulled anything good? We've got a list. We've got a list. It's going to be the list version of the bath song. If we get a bath song, we're ripping it. Swamp. Everybody's like, bath song, bath song. Cast Into the Fire is a great card. This will see play. Um, I've already seen it in modern, and I play it in a modern deck I have, so. Oh, Smite the Deathless. Grima Wormtongue. It's actually Grandma Wormtongue. Leorth of the Hukir. Yermer of the Rittermark. Mm -hmm. Peregrine took my heart and smashed it. Sauron, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Look at that. Lord of the Flaming Head. All right. Let's see. Whenever you cast this spell, a mass orcs five. Mill five cards and return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. It has trample. Whenever a commander an opponent controls dies, the ring tempts you. How tempting. Gimli. Oh, no. No. Ew, yucky. Ew. And, oh, that's all right. Scry three, then you reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, draw a card. Kind of cool. And Ixalan's Binding. Ooh. You know, I do have to say, though, did this really need a reprint? Did this... There's so many cards that do this more efficiently here. I mean, really? I don't know. I guess it is kind of annoying, though. But in any case, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Three and a white? I don't think so. So, that was all right. That was okay. Thank you for joining me, and we have some deck tech videos coming. Because, oh my goodness, we got a couple decks to show. Um... And we've got a couple more matchups coming as well. So thanks for joining us, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the Lord of the Rings, okay? Look into the mirror, see? What do you see? This is your future. Everybody that's watching this, oh, your future's a dwarf.